A message from Our Lady Queen of Peace to Pedro Regis on August 24, 2023. Dear children, I ask you to be men and women of prayer. Humanity has become spiritually blind because people have gone away from the Creator. Turn back. Do not put off what you have to do until tomorrow. You are living in a time of pain, but do not lose your hope. The future will be better for the righteous. Turn away from everything that distances you from God. Open your hearts, because only in this way can you understand God's plans for your lives. Do not forget, in your hands, the Holy Rosary and Sacred Scripture, in your hearts, the love of truth. You are important for the realization of my plans, listen to me. Approach the confessional and seek the mercy of my Jesus through the sacrament of confession. It is in this life, and not in another, that you must bear witness to your faith, heaven must be your goal. Pray for the Church of my Jesus, you will yet see horrors everywhere, but those who remain faithful until the end will be victorious. At this moment, I am making an extraordinary shower of graces fall upon you from heaven, onward without fear. This is the message that I give you today in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Thank you for having allowed me to gather you here once more. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be at peace. Another message from Our Lady Queen of Peace to Pedro Regis on August 26, 2023. Dear children, I ask you to keep the flame of your faith alight. You are living in a time of great spiritual darkness and the moment has come for your return to the God of salvation and peace. Do not be afraid, you are not alone. My Jesus loves you and walks with you, sincerely repent of your sins. Your soul is precious for the Lord. Turn away from the world and live turn towards heaven. Pray, seek strength in the Eucharist and in the words of my Jesus. Tell everyone that God is making haste and that this is the time of grace. Pray for the church, the son of the wolf will act with great fury. I suffer because of what happens to you, take courage. No human force will be able to destroy what comes from God, onward without fear. I will pray to my Jesus for you. This is the message that I give you today in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Thank you for having allowed me to gather you here once more. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be at peace.